today I'll be showing you an EJ Watts 2 liter fruit press. Now this fruit press is quite unique and special because it's very different from any other fruit press that you'll find on the market. It's a cold press fruit press so you'll get cold pressed juice which is quite healthy because it's 100% natural kind of like the type that you'd get from a farmer's market. The juice that you'll get from it is pretty clear it is filtered through a bag and it's 100% natural so like I said it's very healthy. Okay so now that we have unboxed the fruit press let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Now this is literally what comes out of the box. There needs to be no assembly it comes out just like this so very simple. Now it has a very beautiful design, that might be important for somebody like me. The design of it alone has sold me on the item. It's very beautiful, made of stainless steel. The only part that's not stainless steel is this tube here that will help you to dispense the juice out of the juicer. Let's take a closer look at the different parts of the fruit press. So now I'm going to be showing you how to make orange juice using our fruit press. Now the very first thing we'll need to do is to put our filtration bag in. Now this bag is made of synthetic material and it helps to keep the pulp out of the juice. So all we need to do is open the bag, put it inside our inner basket or our inner drum, ensure that it covers the inner basket as well as the outer drum, make sure it is quite smooth and then we can go ahead and put our oranges inside the bag. Now you want to make sure that you don't put too many oranges inside because after we'll need to close the bag. So maybe just about to where the second set of holes are on the inner basket, you can put the oranges in. So we've put the oranges in, let's go ahead and close the bag and get ready to press our fruits. So all you simply need to do now is go ahead and start turning your fruit press. Just turn it until the fruit starts coming out. Now you will need to have a container to catch your fruit juice in, otherwise you'll have no fruit juice after you're done pressing your fruits. So you'll feel that it's getting a little tighter the more you go down. It's kind of like an arm workout. After turning the fruit press for about a minute or so, you'll start to see the juices flowing out. As you can see here, the orange juice is starting to flow out and it smells so good. Fresh orange juice. Until the fruit juice starts coming out. You can see here that we've already got some fruit juice from our blueberries, smelling very lovely. Cold press blueberry juice. So now we've made orange juice, we've made blueberry juice, and we're gonna go ahead and make some carrot juice. Now because carrots is quite hard, you want to go ahead and chop your carrots into small pieces as small as you possibly can before you try to put it into the cold press. So now that we have already chopped our carrots, we'll go ahead, put it into the bag. So now our carrots are inside the fruit press and we can go ahead and turn the handle of our fruit press until the juice starts coming out. And there we have it. There is the juice already flowing out. So now we can go ahead and pour our carrot juice into our glass, ready for drinking. Now that we've crushed the apple into small pieces, we can go ahead and put it into our fruit press to make some cold pressed apple juice. So 
So today we have made cold pressed fruit juices. We've made orange juice, blueberry juice, carrot juice, and apple juice. And after we have pressed all these juices, we have the fruit pomace left over. Here is the orange pomace, blueberry pomace, some carrot pomace, and apple pomace. Now, the pomace is quite dry and perfect for recycling, putting into your composters. The juices, like we had said earlier, is 100% natural cold pressed juice, so it's definitely a healthier alternative to juices that we normally buy in the store.